24-year-old food server from Los Angeles named Felix. I need this apron. I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna beg for it. I'm not gonna tell you a sob story. You just have to taste my food. After their one hour in the prep kitchen, each home cook is then given five minutes to complete their dish in front of the judges. If two judges think a home cook has what it takes, they'll be awarded a Master Chef apron and move on to the next round of the competition. Hello. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. First name is? Felix. Felix. Yeah. Okay. Off you go. You've got five minutes. And what are you going to cook? Um, I'm going to make a crispy risotto with a steak tartare on top. Did you just swig out a bottle? Don't be fooled by the cover of the book. Is there a little <laughs> wild firecracker underneath that demure look? Demure look? <laughs> I'm kind of a wild card. I say what's on my mind. I'm straightforward. So say what's on your mind right now. What are you thinking? Joe, you're going to walk away with the culinary <laughs> after you eat my risotto. <laughs> OK. Hey, love you long time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Enough. Oh, come on. Bring it over. Let's play. Finished? Finished. I'm just going to slip this off because I'm ready to put on another one. <laughs> As opposed to the spicy tuna, the idea of the beef tartare, where did that come from? Well, it goes more with risotto, and I love steak tartare. Let me just stop you there two seconds. Risotto goes with steak tartare. Well, not that it goes with, but it's more hand in hand than risotto and spicy tuna. Okay. Tartars under season, so it's sort of almost like it's underwhelming because it's just like a big clump of raw beef. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm a little dark here. It's slightly charred. Love the confidence, but it's on the verge of the arrogance because you're not really delivering. For me, it's a no. I couldn't disagree more. I think that well, it's. Um, you disagree or not? I thought it was giving you my version. Um, I thought sorry. it was really good. Fine. I thought the rice was good, crunchy, properly seasoned. The tartare was also good. Oh, I'd like to see more. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. All right. Well, it comes down to me, and here's my thing. You know, I, I do appreciate taking the inspiration of the crispy rice from the sushi world, but I would have rather seen a, a full-on commitment to it, you know, going straight on Asian and getting rid of those other flavors, you know? So it really could go either way. You're going to cry in the tartare. At least you're going to season it. I think you have what it takes, and I want to see more. Yes, come get your apron. Thank you. All right. Don't take things for granted. Don't get too cocky before we even start. All right? Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Fooled again, JB. Oh, my God. I'm really thankful that they gave me this opportunity. And I have no idea what's coming next, but whatever it is, I'm ready for it. <laughs> while Felix's confidence paid off. Are all going? Straight to the MasterChef kitchen. This is my dream coming true. Happy dance, happy dance. Felix, what's going on? Are you going to try to pan roast this and get the fat rendered? Yeah. It works better when the pan's on. You might run out of time. So Felix says she's going to bring her, you know, restaurant experience. Yeah. But her duck, I put my whole hand in the pan. It's not even on. It could be good if done right. Advantages in this competition. And today, 
the glory does belong to somebody because their dish stood out above their competition. That dish belongs to... Felix, congratulations. Great job. Bring your dish down, please, honey. It's a huge validation. This is definitely one of the proudest moments that I've had in my life. Come and stand over here. I'm trying to just be humble and, like, you know, keep my composure, but I don't think that Felix deserved to win. Which sucks. <laughs> I'm so bummed. Great job. Really good job indeed. I did a Chinese five spice seared duck breast, and I did a sauce for it, and eggplant and sweet potato chips. Phenomenal execution. Very nice. The sauce and everything on the plate really works. We recognize it immediately as being restaurant quality, and the flavor is fantastic. Oh. Thank you so much. Felix is now a front runner. Competition is on. So, Felix, for winning today's Mystery Box Challenge, you're coming with us to find out your huge advantage in the next challenge. Let's go. Well done. As the winner of the Mystery Box Challenge, Felix is now the first home cook to enter the MasterChef Pantry. Here, Felix is in control of the first elimination test. Amazing fresh produce. It was the most beautiful pantry I had ever seen in my life. Felix now gets to choose the style of food or the dish that everyone must cook. However, the one thing she cannot control is the theme of the challenge. That is in the hands of the judges. Today, you'll be cooking one of our three most intimidating dishes. I'm down. Even though I was practically raised on it, it's a dish that uh, intimidates me because it's so difficult to execute. And it's a dish that takes me back to my grandmother's kitchen and my mother's kitchen. It is Italian risotto. And risotto refers not only to rice, but the technique involved in making it. Because as opposed to steaming it or boiling it, we saute it. There is one dish that always gives me the chills because you can't hide behind adding different little touches and ingredients and garnishes. Classic New England clam chowder. Five ingredients, potatoes, cream, onion, pork, clams. All of those things, at the end of the day, they sound easy and that's what makes it a hard dish. To me, the most intimidating dish the one I'm well known for. It's like a work of art. You seriously have to follow every step religiously. Any idea? Your notorious beef wellington. It's exactly that. It scares the hell out of me. It's so intimidating. It takes years of practice. Felix, out of Joe, Graham, and my dish, what dish are you going to choose? I choose. Yes. For winning the mystery box challenge, you don't have to cook it. Yeah! You're safe. Go enjoy your safety up in our gallery. Thank you. What an amazing position to be in. At least one of you will be eliminated.